Hello, hello. Something a little bit newer this time. Well, relatively newer. This is a 2007 model. It's the Nokia 6500 Classic. Yeah, you have to say Classic at the end because there was also a 6500 slide model. Uh, they shared some of the design and so on, but uh, inside they were actually quite different. We've got a Classic one. I guess, if I remember correctly, this was my last feature phone before I definitely switched to smartphones. Um, back in 2007, I definitely personally liked this design, you know, it's a slim wafer. It's really, really nice. Well, not everyone has to like it, but I do, and that's important. Um, yeah, well, let's just make a tour. Um, it's very interesting that it only has a single port here, and that's the micro USB. If I'm able to open it, I'll show you. There you go. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing on the left. Oh, that's why I'm out of focus, I guess. Ah, that's better. Nothing on the left, nothing on the right either. Nothing at the bottom, only a hole. That's a microphone, I believe. Um, so this actually this part this upper part you can see it's a it has an upper part and a lower part so this upper part is made of metal it's kind of interesting and uh, yeah it really is quite nice to touch you know cold and everything um the lower part is made of plastic and you remove it by applying a little bit of force yeah use the force luke there we go yeah just the plasticky thing you know, you'll get inside as a one gigabyte built-in memory. As a matter of fact, this phone doesn't support any memory cards or anything like that. And instead, you got one gigabyte of built-in memory. In 2007, this was kind of unusual. Now, one gigabyte in 2007, it was not like um, a whole lot, but it was enough for a phone like this, I believe. Like uh, when I had it, I definitely bit of like okay I don't have enough space or anything like that but normally you would have memory cards supported by most of the other phones and micro SD cards for that matter it would be like two gigabytes or four gigabytes I think uh, the maximum um, because it was not the uh, micro SDHC the high capacity uh, cards that actually came a little bit later than that um, but yeah, this uh, this phone is fine, I guess. Uh, this is the original battery. And underneath you can see that it was made in Finland, I believe. Yeah, made in Finland. Um, by the way, this phone is actually refurbished. So you can see some of the parts are actually not original. It doesn't really matter, because it's a fully functional device, but uh, yeah. Um, there are a few details and one actually massive detail being the screen itself uh, that is not original actually the screen is actually not as good as the original one was unfortunately but that's how things are uh, I have another unit also here but um, I'm not just capable enough to exchange the screens if I was I would do it so yeah that's a bit sad yeah, I haven't talked about the camera yet. Uh, the camera is a 2 megapixel shooter. This is a um, loudspeaker, which is like, well, relatively loud, actually, quite a lot. And yeah, has some full bass and everything, so that's kind of nice. Uh, an LED flash. That was not a normal thing for Nokia's uh, back then, or like these feature phone Nokia's at least. Maybe, you know, uh, if we talked about Symbian smartphones, yeah, uh, some of them had the LED flash as well. But uh, in this segment, it was a rarity. So it was pretty nice. It uh, maybe launched automatically, so all that kind of works. Uh, so that's good. We can switch it on. Yeah, Nokia. Uh, you cannot really see uh, the screen quality or anything like that. It would be any worse compared to the others, like the non-original screen, as I mentioned. But uh, with the naked eye, you can see the difference. There you go. So, what do we have here? Uh, this is a flash wallpaper. It's actually the uh, former Macromedia later Adobe Flash, which this phone supports and Nokia phones actually supported back then. Uh, 
Um, sorry about the artifacts on the screen, by the way. This is what the camera does. Uh, good. We have 3G logo. Maybe you cannot see it. I don't know if I can go any closer. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. Oh yeah, there we go. You can probably see it now. So 3G, this phone does actually support 3G, including uh, video calls. But it doesn't have a built-in camera here. Uh, so yeah, you would see uh, a video call from someone who has a camera at the front, but you wouldn't be able to actually send any picture yourself. So yeah, there you go. But it supports 3G, so that means once uh, the GSM shuts down, this phone will still be able to run on 3G, if 3G is still available in your area, uh, which I think this is going to take a little bit longer. Yeah, we've got Sunday, the 14th of February. That's actually true. Uh, 10.08, I'm not sure if that's the correct time. I guess it's slightly off, but well, relatively okay. So now, as I said, this is a flash wallpaper, so it can actually retrieve the date and time information, all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is active, actually shows the same time uh, that the phone is set up to. So that's actually nice. Yeah, uh, keypad, nothing spectacular. Uh, these keys, not so comfortable to type on, definitely. You know, they're kind of small. Uh, I learned to type on them without much of a trouble. You know, have to actually fit in your thumbs like this. You know, um, I don't have uh, like thick fingers or anything like that, so I could actually work with it. But I guess some people with larger hands back then could have had problems with these. Oh, very well. Let's take a look into the menu. Looks like this. You can have four different kinds of main menu. This is how you switch it. So you can have a list, which is kind of boring. Or you can have a grid. This is the same grid, only without labels. It's just a label up here. Um, you can have tabs. Which are fine, but there's a little bit of a delay when you browse through them. So that's why I didn't enjoy using that. Grid with labels, that was my favorite. And I think that's actually the default option as well. Um, most people are using this one, I suppose. Good, uh, we can go through the individual functions. Uh, there are a few of them. So we start with contacts. That's just a regular menu of contacts with groups and speed dials and everything. Yeah, uh, the memory is empty. Is it really? Oh yes, it is. So this is how you add a contact. You only get the first name, last name, and phone number, but you can add more details like this. So that's good. Yeah, I'll try to go a little bit further from the camera, you know, to get rid of those horrible artifacts on the screen. And you can still see them. That's a little bit unfortunate. Synchronization is not going to work, of course, but it's there. Mm, yeah, that's it. <laughs> no special features here. Now, of course, log, that's call log. You've got a complete log, you've got separate lists of missed calls, received calls, and that numbers. And, of course, also message recipients this time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, some data counters. This one was not so heavily used on data. <laughs> yeah, all the units are actually bytes. Uh, yeah, this is not very spectacular. How about message log? Not very text messages. Not very many text messages, I'm going to say, yeah, uh, have been sent off this phone. Well, it could be because all of those counters were actually uh, set to zero at one point. Uh, yeah, so some settings. Uh, it has profiles, six of them, and a flight mode. Yeah, that's a new one as well. Um, of course, you also have themes. Now, the themes could change the colors of your environment entirely. So that's kind of nice. All the different colors uh, mean that uh, the phone itself was actually sold in various different colors. There was this black one, which is my favorite. There's a bronze one 
which many people liked. There was also a silver one, which looked a little bit more like, um, well, not as nice as the others. And uh, yeah, then, then there was also a pink one, which I think actually came a little bit later. And yeah, I remember one girl having a pink uh, 6500 classic. So yeah, found its audience, I guess. Then we've got tones, uh, which we will do in a separate video as usual. Then we've got wallpapers here. Uh, let's take a look. How do we actually open? Probably select image. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I uh, forgot how to operate this. Okay, open. So some vases, yeah, nice. Balance. Balance is a beautiful thing, yeah. Oh, just a cheap animation. Petals. Yeah. Pink flower. Indeed. Uh, whatever this is. Yeah, some abstract. Uh, vase, another vase, okay. This is called a range. Nice. Uh, we also have screensavers. This is the... Oh, yeah. Well, you can use screensavers as wallpapers, actually. It didn't really matter. And... I can't open it from here. I'll have to take it from the gallery and later on never mind yeah a couple of things that you could set up power saver screen saver and sleep mode so yeah basically it's three options uh, the regular screen saver would just be, uh, show a picture on your screen the power saver uh, that would uh, shut off most of the screen and only see like a stripe with date and time or maybe some notification icons or something like that the sleep mode would actually switch off the entire screen uh, so we'll be looking at the black screen and just like on modern smartphones these days unless you have some kind of like an always on display turned on something so yeah f similar features already here i have got date and time of course we cannot yeah auto update is on so we cannot really change anything about that but that's fine We've got shortcuts. So yeah, you've got the selection keys, left selection key, right selection key. So you can assign them with different functions in the home screen. Then we've got navigation key. You can also change those functions. And active standby key. Oh yeah, this phone actually supports something just called active standby, which I have switched off, I believe. But I can switch it on here. Yeah, active standby is <laughs> the second one. Yeah, see what it looks like. Very busy. You have to have a different wallpaper for this one, I guess. So let's also switch a different wallpaper and let's have a look. So wallpapers, let's switch it to something abstract like this one, for example, silver. Yeah, that looks better. So uh, there you go. You can have your shortcuts here. For example, music player, calendar, you can browse through calendar like this. No items, oh, <laughs> no items pending. So that means, you know, when you receive something new, like a, a, an unread text message or a missed call, something like that probably appear in this bar. That was pretty clever, you know, for a feature phone. Why not? Uh, sync and backup, well, that's, of Obvious. Now we've got connectivity. We've got Bluetooth. No infrared port anymore. Um, it was not there in the body. Yeah, you've got packet data. And we've got USB data cable. So data storage, that basically meant that uh, when you connected your phone to your computer, it would just appear as another uh, disk. You know, flash disk or something. Which was convenient, you know, something that a modern smartphone's going to do anymore. Which is a shame. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got calls, of course. And just go through these options we've got phone options oh language settings we always take a look at languages right so we've got english german french italian dutch spanish catalan and uh were... basque <laughs> yeah i forgot this one um a basque which is a language actually spoken somewhere um, on the borders of france and spain if if I, yeah, I hope I'm right. Uh, Turkish, of course, and Portuguese. And uh, yeah, this is another language in Spain. I don't know what the English term for this is. 
it's not Galician or something. I don't, I don't want to be like wrong about this. And many uh, local Spanish languages. I don't know. That maybe this model was made for the Spanish market. I'm not entirely sure about that, actually. Um, yeah. So here you can see memory status, media memory. Yeah. 960 megabytes. Yeah, it was pretty much a gigabyte of memory card. So um, no memory card, actually, just internal memory. So well, it was not a lie or anything. <laughs> this one really does have a uh, gigabyte of memory. Uh, there's something called voice recognition, which is actually convenient because you didn't have to record your voice commands or anything like that. There was just a robot. General. Silent. Outdoor. My style one. My style two. Something like that. It's really nice. You could add probably some more functions a little bit. And you could change those voice commands, but you didn't need to record them yourself anymore. You know, it was very, very progressive in this uh, in this way. On flight query, of course, welcome notes. We didn't have any. And uh, phone updates. Yeah, over the air phone updates. This is for someone who's interested. Yeah, we won't be able to download anything here. Uh, okay, and some enhancements like hats of the charger. Okay, configuration, security. And you can restore factory settings, as you would expect. Good. Um, let's go to the gallery. So let's see the rest of the... I'm not going to show you images. This is that section of my images. Video clips, that's probably... Yeah, that's the one which is the default one. I can show you that. Yeah, you can go full screen, I believe, somehow as well. I don't remember. Was it Starkey or... Yeah, it was. You can see... In this video, yeah, turn the volume down a bit. You can see in this video, maybe that the screen has kind of like a blue tint to it or something like that. not in a very contrasty or anything. Yeah, so this is like a third party screen, not the original one. That's a shame. Uh, very well. Do we have any music files? No, we don't. Uh, themes, we actually went through those. So graphics, let's see some of those lovely screen tables like the analog clock. We show that. Black, which is just... Those are just the animations. Effect. Fair enough, that actually looks like a flash animation. Some point of galaxy. Well, a choppy animation of planets. Looks nice. Silver, uh, it's the same thing here. Skyline. If I remember correctly, there were some Sony Ericsson phones that also supported these uh, flash animations. And unfortunately, we don't have one here, but uh, I remember like the model, the Sony Ericsson S500, it had the ever-changing wallpaper or something like that. You could grab it actually put it on the Nokia. Uh, it would be changing with the date and time, something like that. It's same. Valentine's Day today. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you'd see some hearts and, you know, things like that. Uh, Nokia supported those fully. So, um, yeah, they were interchangeable with other brands as well, you know, because Flash uh, was a standard. Uh, good, 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 good. Yeah, we have some recordings and received files, which actually, personally, we're not going to go into those. Let's take a look at messages and let's type a message, you know. Uh, yeah, there's two... And you can type in, hello, this, this is difficult to do on the camera, I'm sorry. I'll try to adjust myself a little bit. So this is a text, oh, text message. So you can see uh, fully functioning T9, yeah, special symbol, there are some smileys as well. No emoji or anything like that. They actually don't look so nice. Hmm. I can pick this one. Yeah. And you can add some data. So it's just like not just a text message, but I can actually change it to a multimedia message by adding some, some of this content. Message is not saved. Yeah. Sounds about right. We've got a flash message and audio message. Some of those templates, which is just gener generic templates. Yeah. 
You don't need to go through those. Uh, and of course, yeah, there's an email as well. I don't have it set it up, but uh, yeah, it has a built-in email client. If you're familiar with Nokia phones, you probably know that like it, it built an email clients were not a thing for Nokia phones most of the time. It actually was just like, like a Java application or something like that. And they finally decided to do it a little bit later, but, you know, better late than never, I guess. Uh, there are some other curious functions like IMs, which uh, is uh, wireless, wireless village, I believe this is like the Service I've mentioned a couple of times in the past have never worked because and I, I don't know anything about it. So there you go. We've got multimedia here. So we've got camera. This is a two megapixel camera. As a matter of fact, it's it's not bad. Yeah, a little bit on the slow side when it comes to saving um, pictures, but there you go. And yeah, you have the option to turn on the flash so I can do it once more with flash on so you can just see how it works yeah there the photo is probably not going to be that much better is it <laughs> probably even worse okay good job uh, you could record videos but the videos you can see the resolution is 144 by 176 so nothing really impressive it's also just a 3gb with uh, sound in amr uh, not very good. I've got a music player. This is a fully featured music player. Uh, you have like the music library and all, so that's nice. We've got uh, a voice recorder that can record up to an hour. So that's very nice as well. Beep, beep. Okay, what did we record? Oh yeah, you have to, <laughs> if you want to change the volume, you have to go to the context menu. It doesn't have any volume buttons as we said at the beginning. Oh, not sure whether you can hear anything or not. It's AMR, so it's not very high quality recording or anything, unfortunately. And I've got Equalizer, that's related to, well, anything that can play any kind of music, obviously. Stereo widening. Uh, that's not just a gimmick actually worked and for some kind of music I remember it was actually better to use it to have it on uh, especially if you had the headphones uh, that came uh, in the package uh, it, the sound was overall kind of richer and nicer I remember not with, not with everything if you listen to like a spoken word you would definitely have it off all right, uh, we've got organizer, which is just alarm clock, of course, and a calendar, which looks standard, and the to-do list, which, again, is a standard affair. And notes, well, not open, you know, those are just text notes. Calculator, which is actually a Java application, which is weird. Yeah, <laughs> so that's why I have this opening and closing calculator there. Uh, countdown timer. That actually works. Uh, we've got stopwatch, split and lap. So what's the difference? I can show you split. Yeah. We just record individual times like that. Whereas lap timing, that's uh, what you also have. Yeah, it always resets. You know, sophistication and the dictionary. I'm not sure. Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah, so this dictionary. Oh, what are these? I'll go for something like dog. Yeah, I can see a problem here. <laughs> it doesn't have. Uh, the character set here. I think, well, it may be something like a English Chinese dictionary or something like that. You know, probably made for a language which is not supported by this phone. So I'm not really sure why it's here. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. We've got some apps, of course, games and applications and stuff. Uh, Golf to High Roller. Uh, this is not an original game, of course, and Snake. 
Sudoku. We need, don't need to go through all of those games, but I'll open Snake. The snake is the most popular one. You know what? I actually enjoyed... Yeah, I'll go to the adventure one. I enjoyed playing the 3D snake as well. I may have mentioned it in one of the previous videos already. So you just go like this and you eat your fruits. It's all kind of cute. A little bit slow, but on the other hand you see that... Yeah. The point is, you have to eat fruits, grow all the way to that checkpoint. And you have some you have some power-ups which may make your game, you know, more difficult or easier. That depends. You never know. Yeah, and this jingle means that uh, the gate has been opened. And I can go to another playground, a playing field, or whatever you want to call it. But, you know, it's a nice game. I'd like to show you the Slide Alarma thing. That's not the original game. Yeah, it was an ICQ game originally, but there was a Java version of it as well, and I like to play it. Two, it's a, again a very simple, simple, simplistic game. As a matter of fact, uh, we can switch on sounds, or we can play a new game. What was the idea here? You were just supposed to put three of the same can next to each other. You know, just like a slot machine, basically. And you would get some points. Each symbol gives you a different number of points. And it's kind of cute. I like this game. That's what I wanted to show you. Uh, yeah, and in collections, we actually have many applications here as well, like a converter, download for downloading stuff I guess Opera Mini which was very important especially for feature phones if you wanted to like have a full featured internet Opera Mini was very useful search which I don't know what it actually searched for I actually searched inside of an entire film something like that some widgets which on a phone like this was pretty pointless there was a world clock oh, it's kind of nice yeah and then we have the web browser Naturally, that's it. There's nothing else there. Uh, for example, you may have noticed that in the multimedia section that it doesn't have a radio. Yeah, this one didn't have an FM radio, um, only the built-in music player. So yeah, uh, most of the other Nokia's had radio without any issues, but not this one. All right, I'm gonna switch it off now. It doesn't do anything funny, it just shows a Nokia logo and that's it. And goes bleep. That was the phone. Uh, pretty basic in its features, but uh, you know, very pretty in its design. And that's what was important for this particular model, I believe. So I hope you liked it. Check out also my video about ringtones or with ringtones of this phone. Um, yeah, and hope you'll enjoy. And if you enjoyed this, so yeah, come again sometime next time. Let me make another video. Goodbye.